Hi folks, a source just shared me some possible info about a very new kind of Sony image sensor tech that if it makes on the market it would be a real revolution and not an evolution. It would be something really different from everything we saw so far. And we will discuss this today, but before that please take two seconds time to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button to not miss any of my upcoming rumors. We all know Sony is the king when it comes to the image sensor market. They hold over 40% of the worldwide share of image sensors and their sensors are really excellent and uh, basically they are buyer sensor and they keep improving them for every generation with new tricks to improve the dynamic range, the color accuracy, the resolution and so forth. But this is going on for years and there was no real um, new kind of tech inside. Uh, we probably the only major uh, thing I saw in those past years was a patent about the curved sensor which would allow to have very good optical performance also on the border of the frame and also uh, make it possible to reduce the size of lenses, but this is kind of expensive tech and I don't know if Sony will ever launch a camera with curved sensor, but they're working on it, we see it from the patents. But now I got a rumor from another source saying that Sony actually developed a prototype sensor that has 126 megapixel in full frame and it's a three layer sensor. Basically what Sigma already developed years ago and named Foveon, this would be the same. What's the difference between the current Sony sensors and this three layer sensor? The current sensors have a bio layout, which means they have four pixels, one red pixel, one blue pixel, two green pixels, and together they combine the information into one pixel and every pixel gathers only a certain um, information about a certain color, so only red or only green or only blue, and the rest of the information gets lost. So basically two thirds of the light information don't uh, get um, absorbed and so you don't have that information. With the three layer sensor, the single filters, the single pixels would be stacked one below each other. The blue pixel on top, the green pixel below, and then at the bottom, the red pixel. In that configuration, every single pixel collects the full color information, which is uh, the first benefit of this technology. The second benefit is that instead of having four big pixels collecting uh, four different information, then being combined, you can use one large pixel. And that's of course, very good for dynamic range and um, noise ratio so you would have much more um, much higher dynamic range on paper the third information is that you can obviously that way stack more pixels on the sensor because you don't have to interpolate so uh, you also can increase the resolution and the sharpness of the images so on paper you only have benefits if all sounds that great why don't we see those kind of sensors on the market yeah on paper sigma still uh, has some kind of foveon cameras they uh to sell and they plan to make a new full frame foveon camera by end of 2024 i guess it will be more 2025 so there is some real product around uh, this kind of sensor tech but the problem is that in the praxis there are some different kind of issues uh, achieving um, the full information inside the foveon pixel apparently there is a more loss than expected when the, co the um, photons do pass between the single filters and other kind of issues um, because the uh, bio sensors they are really very mature and they have um, learned to deal with the limitations so it's a uh, the real difference between a buyer sensor and the foveon sensor is smaller than the theoretical difference. And so we have to see if Sony can um, make it possible to translate the theoretical benefits into a real a mass production foveon three layer sensor. I think if they achieve that, we would really get a major bump in terms of image quality because you would have no more moire issue, you would have more sharpness, more color information. It also sounds great for black and white photography because as of now, if you have, for example, a Leica monochrome camera, you uh, can record the full photo information, but you don't have the color information, which is kind of useful um, 
to calibrate the black and white images. As you know, uh, if you have a monochrome sensor, you need filters to deal with uh, uh, different um, um, light situations and if you would have a three layer sensor you could create perfect monochrome images too so um, I would really would be really excited if Sony does it the source told me that they, they have different kind of prototype sensors 126 megapixel full frame 80 megapixel 40 megapixels so they're working on some different kind of resolutions and as you know while the megapixel race is somehow uh, stopped and I think there are many reasons for that one practical reasons uh, because who needs really 200 megapixels the second reason is a tech in my opinion a technical issue uh, at the moment Sony does offer a 61 megapixel a7r5 camera but uh, increasing that to 100 to 150 megapixel would uh, run into very serious issue because the pixels would become very small so it would be much more difficult to get a proper uh, nice um, color and light information and uh, having a foveon sensor would basically solve that and you could really make a 200 megapixel full frame Sony Alpha camera that has excellent dynamic range, excellent uh, uh, ISO performance, excellent noise, uh, excellent resolution. So I cross my finger that Sony does what Sigma really didn't achieve to do, solve the practical three layer engineering issue and give us a camera that can create stunning images on full frame. I think, um, but maybe I, I'm a bit too optimistic, I think Sony has the skills, the manufacturing skills and engineering skills to really make it. And if that happens, yeah, that would also be a problem for the competition because I don't think like, for example, that Canon can really match uh, the quality of Sony sensors and also yeah, Nikon and Lumix of course could use Sony sensors but uh, Sony would always have the edge because they would surely be the first to release such model. Now in my dreams having a three layer sensor curved that would be the best that you can have but uh, but that's just a dream as of now. I wanted to share this as uh, it's important for you to know that this is just an information from a source. And like I said, he said, this is a prototype. So prototype means all and nothing, it means certainly that they are working on it, but it also can, doesn't mean that they are ready to produce it in the next two, three years. Maybe it takes five, six years before we see it on a real camera. But exciting news. And now I hope you will stay tuned, subscribe to the channel because in my next videos we will dig into the next Sony announcement, the A93 300mm GM are coming and probably also the A7S4. Exciting times ahead. See you soon.